gold. It's more than just a shiny yellow metal. For centuries, it has been a symbol of wealth, power, and, honestly, incredible adventure. This precious element doesn't just lie around waiting to be picked up, it hides deep within the earth, tucked away in some of the planet's most unforgiving places. It's found in the hearts of colossal mountains and buried beneath the crushing pressure of freezing, ice-covered water. The call to find it is a powerful one, a siren song that has lured brave men and women into the wild for generations. They are willing to face immense danger for a chance to strike it rich, to hold a piece of the sun in their hands. The allure of gold is timeless. Unlike paper money, its value is recognized all over the world. It's used in everything from beautiful jewelry to critical components in our smartphones and spacecraft. This universal demand means that gold holds its worth, making it a safe haven when economies get shaky. But the quest isn't just about money. For many, it's about the challenge. It's about pitting your wits, your strength, and your courage against the raw power of nature. It's a test of survival where the ultimate prize is a handful of gleaming, heavy, and incredibly valuable metal. It's the ultimate treasure hunt. To answer this call, you have to be prepared for anything. Mother Nature doesn't give up her treasures easily. She guards them with treacherous terrain, unpredictable weather, and countless hidden dangers. Whether you're climbing a steep mountain face or preparing to dive into a frozen lake, you need the right gear, the right knowledge, and an unbreakable spirit. It's a battle of endurance. Every step of the journey is fraught with risk, from rock slides to equipment failure. But for the modern day prospector, these challenges are just part of the adventure, hurdles to overcome on the path to unearthing riches. So why do people risk everything? It's the dream. The dream of finding that one big nugget, the mother load that could change your life forever. It's the thrill of the chase, the raw excitement of discovery. Imagine clearing away dirt and rock and seeing that first glimmer of yellow. That single moment makes all the hardship, all the cold, and all the danger worth it. The primal feeling of victory against the odds. This quest for gold is not just a job. It's a high-stakes adventure written into the very fabric of human history, a story of grit and glory. Finding gold in the mountains is a monumental task. It's a battle against solid rock. Gold veins, which are like golden rivers frozen in stone, are often buried deep inside a mountain. The first step is prospecting, which means searching for clues. Miners look for specific types of quartz rock or changes in the color of the soil that hint at gold's presence. They might use metal detectors to scan the surface, listening for the telltale beep that signals metal below. This initial search requires a keen eye and a deep understanding of geology. It's about reading the land and letting the mountain itself tell you where to look for its hidden treasure. Once a promising spot is found, the real work begins. This is where brute force meets precision engineering. Miners use massive machines to get to the prize. Huge drills, some as long as a bus, bore deep into the rock, creating holes for explosives. Carefully placed charges are then detonated, blasting away tons of worthless stone in a controlled explosion that shakes the ground. The goal is to break the mountain apart piece by piece, exposing the precious veins of gold-bearing ore that are locked inside. It's a noisy, dusty, and dangerous process that requires expert planning to avoid disaster. After the blast, giant excavators and front-end loaders move in. These mechanical beasts scoop up the broken rock, known as muck, and load it onto massive haul trucks. Each truck can carry tons of material out of the mine to a processing plant. Inside the mine, the tunnels are a complex network, reinforced with steel beams and rock bolts to prevent cave-ins. It's a dark, underground world lit only by the powerful headlamps on the miners' helmets. They must always be vigilant, constantly checking for loose rock or signs of instability in the tunnel walls around them. The final stage in the mountain is separating the gold from the rock. The ore is transported to a mill where it is crushed into a fine powder by huge grinding machines. This powder is then mixed with water to create a slurry. Different chemical processes, like using cyanide to dissolve the gold, are then employed to separate the tiny gold particles from the worthless rock dust. It's a complex and scientific process that turns mountains of rubble into a small but incredibly valuable amount of pure, gleaming gold. 
Every ounce recovered is a testament to the immense effort it took to conquer the stone giant. Extracting gold from beneath the ice is a completely different kind of challenge. It's a mission into a silent, freezing, and honestly, incredibly hostile world. During the last ice age, massive glaciers scraped across the land, grinding down mountains and pushing gold deposits into the beds of rivers and lakes. Now, these treasures lie on the bottom, hidden beneath a thick layer of ice. Miners must wait for winter, when the water freezes over, creating a solid platform from which they can work. They use ice augers to drill holes through the ice, sometimes several feet thick, to access the dark water below. To work in these conditions, miners become deep-sea divers in a frozen world. They wear specialized dry suits which keep them completely dry and insulated from the lethally cold water. Warm water is often pumped down from the surface and circulated through a network of tubes inside the suit to help them fight off hypothermia. They breathe air supplied from the surface through a long hose, which is also their lifeline. This umbilical cord provides air, communications with the surface crew, and a way to be pulled to safety if something goes wrong. Every dive is a carefully calculated risk. The diver guides a large nozzle along the riverbed, sucking up gravel, sand, and any gold that might be mixed in with it. Visibility is often terrible, so the diver has to work by feel, moving slowly and methodically across the bottom. They are connected to the surface by a voice communication system, allowing them to report their progress and listen for instructions from the team above, who monitor their air supply and dive time with extreme care. The material sucked up by the dredge travels through a large hose to a sluice box on the surface. A sluice box is a long trough with special mats, called riffles, on the bottom. As the water and gravel wash through it, the heavy gold particles get trapped in the riffles while the lighter sand and pebbles are washed away. At the end of the day, the crew cleans out the sluice box, carefully collecting the trapped material. It's a moment of great anticipation as they pan out the final concentrates to see how much of the precious yellow metal their cold, dangerous work has yielded. The quest for gold, whether in the mountains or under the ice, demands a formidable arsenal of tools and machinery. On land, the stars of the show are the earth movers. Towering excavators with massive buckets can dig through tons of rock and dirt in a single scoop. Haul trucks with tires taller than a person are needed to transport the ore. Deep underground, miners rely on jumbo drills to bore into the rock face and loaders to clear out the blasted material. These machines are powerful but require skilled operators who can navigate tight spaces and dangerous conditions. Without this heavy iron, mining on a large scale would be impossible. For the underwater gold hunters, the gear is more specialized and focused on survival. The suction dredge is their primary extraction tool, but the most important equipment is the life support system. This includes the commercial grade dry suit, a full face diving mask, and the surface supplied air system. They also use underwater lights to pierce the gloom. On the ice, Ice augers, winches to lower and raise the diver, and generators to power everything are essential. Every piece of equipment must work perfectly, because a single failure can be catastrophic. The risks are enormous and ever-present. Mountain miners face the constant threat of cave-ins, rock falls, and equipment malfunctions in confined spaces deep underground. The use of explosives adds another layer of danger. For the ice divers, the primary enemy is the extreme cold, which can cause equipment to freeze and lead to deadly hypothermia. They also risk getting their air hose tangled or cut or being trapped by shifting currents beneath the ice. In both environments, isolation is a factor. Help can be hours or even days away, so miners must be self-reliant and highly skilled in emergency procedures. So, with all these dangers, why do it? Because the reward can be life-changing. Gold is one of the most valuable materials on Earth single ounce can be worth thousands of dollars. Finding just a few pounds of it can make you a millionaire. This incredible value is what drives people to push the limits of human endurance. The journey is a high-stakes gamble against nature, a thrilling and perilous adventure. It's a modern-day treasure hunt where the prize isn't a chest of pirate coins, but pure, heavy, beautiful gold, a pocket full of sunshine pulled from the planet's toughest places. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.
and please press the bell icon for updated notification. Thank you.